How's it going, everybody? JT here, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go, and uh, I'm with Ivan. Hi. Hey. How's it going? And I'm also with, th it's the Thurman Ghost. Oh my god! Ooh, spooky. And also as spooky as this pink Daramaka. Now, this actually isn't the reason why, well, this is the reason why I'm starting the clip, but this was not how this was going to be going, because you'll see just after this, there's something really cool here. Something really, really cool here that I haven't seen in a long time, but we will be seeing these actually in on Saturday. But yes. anyways, let's check this Shundo Daramaka, right? Obviously. <laughs> no, oh. not even close. But check this out. There's an unknown M. Ooh. Tell me how many people that you've seen a video where they get a shiny right off the bat and then have an unknown waiting for them right afterwards. We're super mad because literally as soon as we get here, right we're about to click on the unknown, he clicks on the Daramaka, boom, shiny. And I'm not even remotely sorry about it. Disgusting. By the way, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It doesn't cost you a thing. And I really need it. Anyways, let's go back to the unknown. Oh, 15 attack! That's something, I guess. <laughs> Neat. Very cool. Now watch as I get another shiny. I'm just kidding. That would have been... <laughs> that would have been disgusting. That would have been like I a record. I would have unsubscribed if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much content. That's it, fair. That... No. I'm sorry, bro. It's over for you. <laughs> so we're taking a small pit stop, and I haven't done this in a while, but... Look at his puppy right here. Look at him, he's a good boy. Oh my goodness, this is not the first time I've met him. He is a very, very good boy. And look at him. Oh, just such a sweetie. It's been a while since we've done that. I want to do that more. And after the puppy, we get ourselves a shiny centret. Also, hi V, buddy, pal. <laughs> Haven't seen you in forever. Oh, hey, how's it going, friend? He's v, still v, alive. V, v, That's v, surprising. V. Now, guys, let's get that golden raspberry on there. Let's get the ultra ball. Yeah, boom. I I'd here, be down with a good one. And here we go. If this is the Shundo, this is it. <laughs> I would actually max that, like, right away. This is it. This is like a meme Pokemon, too. Like, it kind of has to be, right? I mean, it's weather boosted, it's right? It's cold! Oh! Wow! What? It's so close! Oh, my God. oh, man! I was like, is this gonna happen right now? What? You know, I'll, I'll hold on to that for a while. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm down with that. The next day. Hey, everybody. I'm actually currently at the Central Florida Zoo now. It's currently closing time, but what they do once a month is they let you do a like late night thing. So I thought it'd be fun to come over here and see what it's like, you know, while the animals are, I guess, technically on their off time. But before we go look around at animals, because a lot of them have been away right now, this is the otter enclosure. Nobody's home right now. Let's take a look at the game real quick. We've had a Pikachu already checked, but you know what? Let's check some of the other things here. We've got Apoms here. We've got some decent spawns altogether. But sadly, those were like the only two things that I didn't already check that wasn't already shiny. Let's just do that. Yeah, if we get a shiny in the zoo, that'll be awesome. But if not, let's just check out some animals. I think it'll be fun.
that was fun. I will say that during the more daytime, even though it's hotter, the animals are a lot more active. It seems like, you know, they've got like a nine to five job and after five, they're done. And usually the zoo's closed around like four, you know what I mean? So, you know, we got to see a couple things here and there, but a lot of stuff was hidden away in its back enclosure or whatever, but it was fine. We had a good time, no shinies or anything, but we're gonna get some food now and hopefully very, very soon, we might get some Mewtwo raids. We got people in Australia, got people in like Japan, all over the place that'll be sending me raids. So hopefully we can get a few of those. Now we're back in the truck with Ivan. Hi, Ivan. Yo, yo, yo. And we're doing Mewtwo raids now, which is great. Thanks to Marco for sending this to us. I got a 2382, which means this is a 98%. But is it a shiny 8%? No, it's not, but that's perfectly fine. We already have shiny 8. I want a Shundo, so honestly, another shiny 8 really wouldn't be all that exciting. But yeah, I mean, this is great in terms of getting XL candies. We really want XL candies for this thing, and also in order to beat this thing, use a dark type, use a ghost type. Gengar is fantastic. You could also use dark rye. You could also use bug types as well, but they're not as good as the other two. But yeah, man, we're just basically gonna keep grinding out these Mewtwo's and hopefully getting some more items. We're just doing loops around, trying to get prepped for GoFest, which is in two days also. If you haven't seen the video already, make sure you check out my tips video. You really want to do that because there's some good information in there, right, Ivan? Oh, yeah. A lot of good stuff. I mean, we sat down for a couple days, like, really thinking about it, and uh, everything's in the video. Definitely make sure to check it out. There will be a link in the description box, or you can just look. You can see me in a lab coat. You'll see me there. Now, I'm going to keep trying to catch this Mewtwo, which seems to be a little harder to catch right now. Even Ivan was noticing that, too, but mm -hmm. yeah. We're gonna do a more, few more of these and who knows, maybe we'll get a shiny one. This time we have a weather boosted one, 2956, so it's not a hundo, but it's also not green. Cool, but weather boosted is awesome. I'm always down with weather boosted. Well, it's not a shiny Mewtwo, but I'll take it. This is actually the fourth shiny of this video. We actually got a shiny Pikachu that I didn't record because it's a shiny Pikachu without balloons, but there it is on the thing, I recorded it. But there we go, we can catch this one. I don't need it, but I mean, I've gotten really good luck with these things when it comes to IVs. Now watch, I say this, and this one's god-awful. But I mean, we already got a really good centered earlier. In fact, mm -hmm. yesterday with Ivan, so... Mm -hmm. Actually, no, technically that was still today. Oh, that wasn't the AMs. Uh, don't you still have that 98% shiny dove anyway? Uh, it's not 98, it's a 96, 96. but yes, and I've involved yes. it into an unpheasant. But this one... Oh, well, I mean, PV... P? I don't PvP? know. Okay. I don't even think it really is PvP eligible, but we, we'll hold on to that for now. That's actually... You keep those still. Yeah, those. and it's a male, which I like the male final form a lot better with the, like the purple face and everything, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, we're doing good today. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're just going around in a, in a rectangle. That's all we're doing. Not really doing anything else. <laughs> just trying to get those ultras. I'm almost... In fact, you know, we'll take a look right here. I'll show you my items real quick. We have, I think, 900 Ultra Balls now. 963 ultras. That's so really good. I just want to get to a thousand so I can be set on that one. I've been deleting a lot of items, but yeah, so far we're doing pretty good. I'm happy. I mean, GoFest is literally, by the time you guys are watching this, a day away. And for you Aussie Australians watching this, less than a day for away. So, God, I cannot wait. Well, as you can clearly tell, we're back in the apartment. And yeah, nothing too crazy happened. We did a couple more Mewtwo raids, but sadly, no shiny. But I've caught every one of them so far, and I want those XL candies. You want to spend them on maxing out one hundo Mewtwo so you can get the Mega for, you know, Best Buddy and everything like that. You just want to have a level 50 Mewtwo at 100%. But not only that, you want to max out your Shadow Mewtwo's. Those are the most powerful things in the game, minus the Mega Mewtwo. And you can't really max out, or you can't Mega Evolve a Shadow Mewtwo. You can max out a Shadow Mewtwo, and I highly recommend you doing it. And so most of you guys should have two of them, but some have more. And if you can, rate as much as possible so you can max out every single one of them, because they're just that insanely good. But anyways, we're going to be wrapping up the video here. But before we can do that, you know, it's time for the positive comment shout out. And today it's going to go to William Percival. Goat yoga is something I never thought I needed until I did. Yeah, man, honestly, I didn't know goat yoga was a thing. 
and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. You know, like it's silly and stupid, but that's kind of like the point. And plus the baby goats were kind of fun to mess around with. So yeah, if you guys ever get the chance to try it, I suggest you do, because it's a lot of fun. And with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. And if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash the like button, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload, and honestly, comment down below. Are you guys excited for GoFest? It's literally right on the horizon, and I cannot wait for it. So if you are, please let me know those comments down below. And if you really enjoy the content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description box below. But with that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. Have a great GoFest, guys.